Mana Nangal is about a young girl who becomes entangled in the life of her cousin, Magda, who lives in the Philippines. Mana Nangal were a fragrance. It would have top notes of hibiscus and orange soda because Mirinda, which is the nickname of Magda, is a type of orange soda. Um, it would have heart notes of incense to sort of go with the scene in the grandfather's house and also coconut milk, which is a popular ingredient in Filipino cuisine. And it would have base notes of benzoin, tobacco, and burning asphalt. I think that when we allow our language and our storytelling to be informed by our reality, not only is that vision more singular and more compelling, but also the social issues that underpin our realities will be conveyed, whether we intend for them to be or not. My story is about Alexis, a 12-year-old girl who is visiting her father for the weekend. Over the course of that weekend, her mistrust about her own body and her sense of duty towards her father to protect him from the consequences of his own actions end up leading her into danger. I was particularly interested in writing about a character at that age. Alexis is um, at a point where she's learning a lot more about the world and the failings of the adults in her life. Um, and she's also changing physically and emotionally. But she also has big uh, gaps in the knowledge, her knowledge about the world and about herself. And these end up putting her in peril. For me, as a reader, I love reading stories that engage in big issues and big ideas, but I like it when they raise questions rather than handing out judgments. As a writer, I try to achieve this in my own work by really focusing in on characters and the ambiguities and contradictions that are inherent in all of our lives. So my story started with those four words, nobody owns a fire. I was out in my garden one day and I noticed that my neighbour, Jim, had started a little bonfire at, down the bottom of his yard. And the next thing I noticed was that men started showing up, neighbours. They'd just sort of wander in and as each one arrived, he'd hand them a beer and they stood around the fire and they didn't talk so much. They just watched the flames, the odd comment here and there. And then eventually they started to drift away again. And this line came to me, nobody owns a fire. I entered it in the Commonwealth Prize because I've had some small successes here in Australia and I just wanted to spread my wings a little bit further and see what happens. Our stories connect us. My story, So Clean, follows a young woman who's forced to face her many fears before they consume her. A piece of writing advice that has always stuck with me is that by being specific, you create the universal. That's what I strove for in this story. The particulars concern a specific time and place. A teenage girl living in suburban New Zealand, struggling with growing up, channeling her fears in distinct, and some would say maladaptive ways. By leaning into the certain details, the smell of a compost, the taste of the vodka, the sound of music at the party, I hope to ground the reader in my character's mental state, even if they've never experienced the world the way she does. I believe that by drawing complex and flawed characters, social issues can be explored in an organic way. Our stories connect us.